Right. Um, one of the things which I suppose in some ways I feel incredibly guilty about, because I've been on the telly, is when I meet people and they go, oh, you know, I'm going to do a media studies degree. Um, and there's always a little bit of me that just kind of like, sort of like sinks just because I know how many people do media studies, how hard it is to get those jobs within production. And yet there's a massive irony because within the BBC, there are so many opportunities, particularly on, on the technical side. And the world is changing and having really good digital skills is becoming essential to work in an organisation like the BBC. Um, I'm going to invite um, Hayley and Hannah to come up on stage. Um, and the really interesting thing is that these two women are, came through the BBC as apprentices. And they're going to tell us a little bit about the BBC apprenticeship scheme and why they chose to do it and what they feel that it's giving them. So the stage is yours. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I'm Hayley and I'm uh, an apprentice with the BBC. So I'm here today to talk to you about my experiences and perceptions of the ICT industry. Um, as the only one in my group of friends with a role in the media industry, I thought it would be interesting to ask one of my friends for her perception on today's discussion points. So here's Lauren's perception. You're either into it or you're not. And she also sees us all as people sat in dark rooms, engrossed in spreadsheets, or surrounded by black screens inundated with mumbo jumbo. So how do we change that perception? Um, bearing in mind, people of our age group remember the one-box computer to 30 children in primary school and getting our first glimpses of the World Wide Web in comprehensive school. Um, but ICT was an important part of our education and was compulsory for all sets. However, as previously mentioned, the curriculum was sculpted around Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, etc. So obviously, you know, we need to change that sort of approach as well, so young people today can, can um, learn how to use the computer rather than just use what's on it. Um, however, since I've been fortunate enough to study um, many aspects of art design, so I've been able to enhance my ICT skills using Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, etc. So after spending nearly nine months in an administration role, um, I used putting my GCSE IT skills to good use. I decided to look for something more inspiring, and that's when I found this great opportunity as an apprentice with the BBC. I now feel very strongly about apprenticeships for both young people leaving school and those older looking for a change in career. I can say firsthand that they are, they are perfect to gain an in-depth perspective of the industry you wish to work in gain contacts and learn from the experts. I've been able to work with truly inspiring people on amazing projects which, with, with live and real deadlines. Meanwhile, you're not borrowing, living in the reds, living off super noodles, you're earning. Um, it's also a fact of life that people learn by doing and it should also be recognised that higher education does not suit everyone. Most of the intelligent people of my, most, some of the most intelligent people at my school either did not attend university or did not finish their, gra their, their courses and graduate. So it, you should think it's not just for Christmas, it is for life. So how, make sure you do your research and look into all your options. Looking back now to my days in upper six, none of us really knew what we wanted to do for the rest of our lives and UCAS applications were stuffed on our throats with no other real opportunities presented. So I think I can confidently say now that things have changed in the last seven years or so. I mean, young people today are presented with more opportunities. However, they need to be inspired to take these opportunities, um, hear the success stories, but also be presented with the hard facts. Um, so my advice to anyone really at the crossroads in their lives is to look into apprenticeships and um, yeah, in any field that interests them, not, not just ICT. So thank you for listening. Right. There we go. Okay. 
So I'm just going to start off by telling you a little something about myself. My name's Hannah Deakin. There we go. I'm an apprentice with Curvler, a training company called Curvler, who is sat down by here. If anyone wants apprentice information, contact Reese Miles Thomas. Dropped him in it. I have a 13 month contract with the BBC. I was part of their interactive and learning team. And because I'm an apprentice, I've had many varied job roles and tasks, such as filming on set, editing video, producing content and homepage promos for the Wales homepage site, migrating content for the Doctor Who website, and producing the social posts for Facebook and Twitter. However, just because I work with computers now doesn't mean I was always so tech savvy. ICT in my high school consisted of making PowerPoints using Microsoft PowerPoint, making spreadsheets using Excel, and changing the contrast of images using Photoshop. However, since leaving my high school and starting this apprenticeship, I've learned how to use Adobe Illustrator, how to do a little bit of coding, how to use After Effects, how to use Final Cut Pro, how to use Premiere Pro, and how to use Adobe Audition. And not only did I learn the basics of these, I learned how to use them creatively. And I've got a bit of an example to show you that we did for Trony in S4C. If it, there we go. And that's just a little ident that we did for S4C as part of their Trony Young People Week. So what is an apprenticeship? It's a way of earning and learning at the same time. There are numerous different types of apprenticeship, but there are three main types, level three, level two, and level four, and obviously many different levels, but I'm currently on a level four apprenticeship, which gives you a national qualified, national qualification even, sorry, which can lead to a foundation degree. But there are some requirements that you have to meet before applying, you have to be 16, at least you can be older. You have to have at least five GCSEs, graded A star to C, but this can depend on the apprenticeship. And if you do apply, the current national minimum wage for an apprentice is £2.68 per hour, but this often depends on the company and they are willing to pay you more the majority of the time. And you have to work at least 30 hours per week, but this also depends on the apprenticeship. So why did I choose to do an apprenticeship? Because it's a way to gain a qualification, earn a wage, gain real life experience, gain industry connections, which many of you I hope will do today, gain practical skills, and learn things I may not have learnt in a classroom environment. So, give it some consideration. So thank you.